Hello, what is up? Welcome back to the vlogs or welcome if you're new here. My name is Gabby. It is currently Monday morning. I think it's like 10 something. Yeah, 10 o'clock on Monday morning. I am working two to nine today and I'm actually training, which is super fun. This is my first like mentor shift or training shift with someone. I'm kind of nervous, but also really excited because I don't know. I just find like training very fun and exciting, but I'm kind of nervous because I don't really know how to train people i guess like when i got onboarded to lululemon the person that trained us was absolutely amazing she basically had it down to like a t on how much time to spend in what places and like all of that stuff and it was just so smooth and seamless which i really appreciated and i just don't really know how to like replicate that especially with it being my first time i have no idea how long things take so a little nervous about that but i did want to take you through a week in my life kind of casually vlog it for you get back into the vlogs i know it's going to be a busy holiday season that we're going into now yeah i want to get back in the vlog so here we are i've basically been doing admin stuff all morning monday mornings are like my favorite time to get all of the admin things done for like YouTube and content creation. So answering emails that I didn't get to over the weekend or kind of Thursday, Friday, um, since those are like busier days for me. So I always do that, update my spreadsheets, all of that stuff. So that's what I've been doing this morning, but I'm also kind of in a cleaning and productive mood. So I wanted to, I don't know, share that with you guys. I just finished vacuuming the entire house which is great and then I want to like wipe down all of the counters and I don't know kind of maybe organize my closet you know I think I'm gonna throw out these boxes obviously do not need to keep them the 30-day trial is long gone now and I feel like they're just kind of taking up space in my closet that I don't really need and also I'll show you so this is kind of what we're working with in here I just have like all of my lululemon tops and stuff on this side with some of my joggers and like other types of pants and stuff I have like so much storage up here that I want to go through and get rid of including this other shoe box from lululemon so i need to go get rid of that i have all my like sports bras and scubas and then i just got these hangers from ikea which i'm actually super pleased with they're like a dollar 50 or something so i just hung some of my hottie hot shorts i definitely need to order more of these i think because i actually really like them and they were pretty inexpensive then i have like my tanks which again i need to get more of like these hangers too so they can hang all of my line tanks and then I kind of want like this to be like shorts and tanks and then like sweaters in behind and then these are all like my non lululemon clothes that i need to go through and sort out and then i need to also go through this pile of donate slash sell items and deal with that so that's part of my goals to get done this week. I don't know if it's gonna happen maybe today since I do still have quite a bit of time. Also, I have a brand that needs to approve some content for me since I just finished a little collab, which is super exciting. And yeah, that's kind of what's going on. Hopefully most of those things are good to go and it'll just be like minor edits because this week is very busy plus kind of November in general is super busy. We want to head to Saskatchewan hopefully next weekend for um, kind of the November long weekend so that we can see some family because we won't be able to see them at Christmas because of course working at Lululemon you cannot take time off between a Black Friday and basically middle of January and you have to work like Christmas Eve or New Year's Eve or New Year's Day so there's really not a lot of time to go anywhere in between that oh and Boxing Day can't forget Boxing Day that's mandatory Black Friday and Boxing Day I think are mandatory like you have to work everybody works so it, it just made it so that we can't really go anywhere for that which sucks so hopefully we'll be able to get away next weekend but i need my schedule to be out for work so that i can give shifts away and then the weekend after that it's damon and i's five-year anniversary of us dating so we wanted to hopefully do a little weekend trip as well but it's shaping up to be super super busy so yeah and then with ringette work and you know holiday content in general i don't think i'm going to be doing vlogmas because i just don't think i can like edit that much and have that much time to edit but i don't know we'll see maybe i could do like a weekly vlog ish thing i don't know but trying to get back into the swing of vlogging now so that when that time comes it'll be more seamless if that makes sense but let's get started on some organizing and chores I also 
just have my pumpkin spice latte candle burning, trying to feel like it's fall because currently this is what it looks like outside. As you can see, there is a ton of snow. We were actually pretty lucky with this fall. I feel like usually it snows in like September or early October here and we made it to October like 20th, I believe without snow. And I feel like it was only supposed to be a few centimeters, but Clearly we got a lot more than that and it's feeling like a full on winter. Actually it felt like December and then it felt like spring, like April yesterday. And now it's just like a really confusing time. Fun, but uh, trying not to pull out all of the Christmas stuff just yet and still be in the fall mood, but really tempted to pull out like the Christmas hand soaps and all that jazz. Not until at least Halloween is over. All right, welcome back to the closet. I am currently just trying to go through all of my items, be ruthless, and actually clear out things that I am not going to wear slash need to sell or donate. Also, just a question for you guys. Would you be interested in like shopping some of these things on like Poshmark or something? I used to have a Poshmark, but honestly, I gave up on it because I heard some really sketchy things that people were just like stealing items and would basically accept or no, they would decline the item and send it back instead of saying accept and then they'd send back like an empty package. So basically that they would just take the item and not have to pay for it essentially, which kind of sketched me out about Poshmark. So I did it, like I stopped using it for a while. Plus it was just a hassle because you have to like mark things up to then like negotiate with people and then that just like brings it down. Plus Poshmark takes a cut. So I just stopped using it. But if you guys are actually interested in shopping some of these things, I would love to give them a new home and they're still like in really good condition and quality and I feel like they just need, you know, some more love and wear. So if you guys are interested, let me know down below in the comments. But I am trying to clean out everything, so I'll show you what I have so far. Okay, so this is like the donate pile. I just have some like older clothes here that aren't really going to sell or anything like socks and then just some like older shirts and stuff. So I'll probably donate all of these things here. Then I have a whole bunch of clothes that I am hoping to sell, like some jeans. These are my Lululemons, but as a Lululemon educator, I cannot sell any Lululemon, even if I purchased them before being an educator while I'm still employed with the company. So those are hanging around here. And then just some like other stuff that I used to like have for like my corporate job, like dress shirts, blouses, all that stuff that I don't wear anymore here to donate as well. So I have all of that stuff that I am hoping to sell and I've listed on like Facebook Marketplace, but I haven't had any luck with selling yet. And then I need to go through like all of this stuff up here and kind of decide what I don't wear slash I'm not going to wear, haven't worn in the past at least six months to a year. So let's do that. Okay, can anyone else explain to me why it's so hard to get rid of clothes? I just went through like all of them kind of quickly, but I still only got rid of like four t-shirts and two dresses, which is like not that much at all. I just, I like, could potentially wear it, but I don't. So I don't know why it's so hard for me. Like I just want to keep the basic staples. Like for example, workwear. Have I worn this blouse in like three years? No. Should I keep it just in case I have to go to some fancy event thing? Yes. That's the rationality in my mind. But honestly, like, I just... It's also too big for me, I'm pretty sure, that this one... Like, where am I going to go wear it to? And this is just so, like, office-like. It's not even like I'd wear this out, you know? So, I don't know. But let me know if you have the same struggle. I am, like, debating. I should probably just get rid of these, right? Right? All right, here is a little bit of the update. So I did move all of the scuba hoodies, hoodies, and then some of my joggers all up here, which I feel like looks better because it just takes up more of the space. However, I'm a little worried that these aren't gonna quite fit if I ever grow my scuba collection, but maybe that means I need to get rid of some. Although I love all of them, maybe you could pass on this one but I love all of them so I put the new luggage up there which takes up way less space than the other one which is great plus my other travel duffel bag that's like stuffed with other 
smaller bags and then because this space is empty I'm not really sure what I want to do with it I do really want to keep all my shorts and stuff and start hanging them up on here so I'm gonna have to make another trip to Ikea to pick up some more of these probably soon and then I need to get some more of these kind of hangers as well so that I can hang like all of my aligned tanks which would alleviate this bucket here because all of these are still aligned tanks which is crazy and then I think I want to keep like my other Lululemon stuff here because this is just like what I wear the most versus like this stuff here that I don't really wear but I need to maybe find a better way to like organize this stuff if you know what I mean. Finished cleaning up the closet and now that I've like cleaned it out and gotten rid of a few things that you know are kind of not really my style not what i'm wearing i have now fallen down the rabbit hole of aritzia and i'm just like on the website right now looking at some stuff that's like i don't know i don't need like anything really but i kind of want some like neutral basics to kind of update my wardrobe something that's going to last a long time because honestly most of my clothes are at least i would say like three to five years old at least and I typically want to take good care of them so if I get some like basic pieces I feel like that would maybe help kind of I don't know elevate things anyways I also need a new pair of jeans but Abercrombie feel I feel like is always sold out I'm in love with their curve love line but it's always sold out I'm just gonna have to wait on that but I'll show you what's in my cart right now okay first thing I have is this Babaton contour crew t-shirt I love the contour line I have like a few bodysuits and stuff from that line so I really want one without the bodysuit because I'm not really a huge fan of it of like the bodysuit part so just some like basic tees this one is like a red color it's kind of hard to decipher on screen but just like a long sleeve like well-fitting top and then this is the contour mock neck long sleeve lululemon has one that's similar but it is cropped i don't want a cropped one i want something that's going to be a little bit longer so that's a good option and then these shirts i hear are really good i don't need all three colors but i don't know i feel like one of them might be like a good thing to add but it's literally like two hundred dollars potentially and your girl don't have money for all of that Ugh, this lighting is awful okay i could put some of these items on my wish list of course but i feel like also it's a little hit or miss with aritzia because sometimes their stuff sells out really quickly and all that jazz so maybe i'll get like a couple of these things and then put a couple on my christmas wish list i'm also looking at these mini uggs right now because of tiktok however i don't think i want the ultra minis like i just feel like that's not practical for like where i live like we already have snow that is going over the height of my ankle boots anyways so i don't know if the ultra minis are necessarily what i need but i feel like the ones that i have are at least like seven eight years old i'm pretty sure i've had them since like first year university or even like high school they're that old and just they're pretty worn out and all the fur is definitely flattened and it's, they're not really that warm anymore so i feel like maybe a new pair of boots would be nice as well and some like new shoes and stuff but i don't know again just kind of going on like a little rabbit hole i think definitely the boots will go on the christmas wish list which i need to kind of put together and figure out if I'm asking for anything for Christmas and what that might be for like gift ideas because it is already holiday shopping time which is crazy. I need to start on holiday shopping to get that done because I hate leaving it to the last minute and not knowing what people want but let me know down below when you start your holiday shopping but I do need to get ready for work. It is like 12 30 so I need to make lunch right away and then probably leave pretty soon so I'll catch up with you soon. Hello and good morning. I flopped on the vlog yesterday because I realized that I had to leave a little bit sooner than I needed to. Plus I forgot the mass amount of snow on my car that I need to brush off. And fun fact, my snow brush actually broke. So I was very close to being late to work, but we made it on time. But basically last night, Obviously it went to work, came home, went to bed since it was late and it was one of the closing shifts. So yeah, just got up this morning. I've been doing some TikTok stuff on here, just got ready, but today is a new release Tuesday and Lululemon did say that they are going to release the Sonic Pink Scuba that everyone has been wishing for, asking about, etc. So hopefully it is a good drop for like the rest of the stuff too. I probably won't even get the Sonic Pink Scuba, but I also have to film a buyer buy and I wanna film my holiday gift guide that's going to be going up as well. So 
heavy content day. Thankfully, I also got my shift covered for tomorrow, so I'm also going to be editing all of those videos, hopefully, in hopes to prepare for the busy month of November that I now currently have. But that is basically what's going on this morning. I'm probably just going to prep everything for the live today, and I don't know, the weather is kind of gross outside, so I don't know if I'm gonna have enough lighting to film in here but we'll see so that's pretty much the plan for this morning and i will catch up with you very shortly okay i'm about to go live right now on tiktok for new releases i have this all set up here and then i have my google doc on here as well for people to shop and if you don't join me on tuesdays already then you should if you want to see all of the 11 new releases but that is basically what's happening right now i also finished filming a video. I'm just trying to get the thumbnail and stuff done for that as well. And then hopefully I can film the buy or buy after this live, but super exciting. Hopefully it's a good job today, but that is what's happening. All right, I just finished my live. It did a little bit of an outfit change because now I have to film my buy or buy. But honestly, I felt like the drops weren't that great and are kind of disappointing other than the Sonic Pink Scuba that did in fact drop, which at least there's that. But I don't know, it was just okay. So we'll see how the day pans out. And I feel like this video might not be like the most entertaining if there wasn't a huge drop, but we're gonna make it what it is. And uh, yeah, so going to film now and thankfully the lighting is a little bit better in here. So that is the plan, super heavy content day. Honestly, I'm really tired of talking since I filmed one video, did a whole live and then making another video, which I know it's kind of ironic because I'm literally talking right now, but might have to have a voice rest for the rest of the week. <laughs> Hello again. Uh, last night basically finished filming all of my videos and then uploaded all of the things for them, all the clips and stuff. Did my descriptions, thumbnails, and then made dinner. We watched the hockey game and the news last night. Very exciting Tuesday, I know. But uh, yeah, so basically that that was last night, so nothing too exciting, but today we need to run some errands right now. Well, I guess not right now. In a minute, I need to go to the store, to Lululemon, of course, and film some content. And then I kind of want to go to Ikea to get more hangers and stuff for my shorts so I can finish reorganizing my closet, but also at the same time, I don't really want to go to Ikea. I'm hoping this brand gets back to me today with any revisions and edits that needs to be done for the content so I can get that done because I did give away my shift for today because they said a timeline turnaround would be about two business days which is today and then I need to also edit both of the videos I filmed yesterday for next week and the week after kind of pre-schedule those what else do we need to do today meal plan so I can grocery shop tomorrow it's going to be a busier day but hopefully everything pans out all right that's basically what's going on this morning. Got some laundry in, got ready, nothing exciting. It's like 9, 11, mall opens at 10 and I kind of want to be there for 10 just to like get it done, get home. And so I can have like the afternoon to do these things. What time does Ikea open actually? I think it's 10. Oh gosh, traffic is atrocious. Oh, it, it's open now. I could go to Ikea now, except it's saying it's going to take me like a lot of time to get there. Is it really worth going to get more hangers? I wish they had like a better shipping and delivery. I mean, I get it, but like, uh, I don't know. I guess the, the hangers aren't really necessary at this point. I don't know, it'd just be kind of nice to like finish redoing my closet. I also need to sell those suitcases I pulled down yesterday. So I do have to post that to like Facebook Marketplace or something. But yeah, that's, that's the plan. I'll see if I have time to go to Ikea. Maybe we'll go, maybe we won't. into Abercrombie to see if they have any jeans in my size but they didn't so I don't know just had a quick look around in there but heading to Lululemon now 
to do all my content stuff and then gotta get out of here. items on this is the bra honestly these cup pads are a little bit dented and folded so it is not giving at the moment but here are the pants as well i feel like this outfit is really cute probably not something i would actually wear and then this is like the back of it which is kind of cute so i don't know but as you can see here it's like the ribbing and details on the leggings same thing on the bra i don't know it's cute, but I don't think it's functional for me personally. Probably wouldn't wear it. So, but here you go, TikTok. since I've updated the vlog but basically as you saw in the clips I went to Aritzia and I didn't vlog in there because a the music's really loud so I'll probably get copyrighted and b I find it kind of intimidating I don't know about you guys but like I don't know just the vibe of Aritzia so I did get some clips of the things I tried on on my phone and stuff for you but didn't have any luck with anything there which is probably okay for the bank account and then I decided to grab a little Starbucks because it was double star day so I just got an Earl Grey tea and I also got like 25 bonus stars if I made an order today so you know how can you say no plus it's only like three dollars so I feel like it's not that bad came home literally just finished editing my buy or buy for next week as of now but like maybe it's up by the time you're seeing this vlog because i have no idea when i'm going to be able to edit this one either but that is what the situation is right now i do have another video to edit but i think i am feeling burnt out for today uh that was a lot of editing to be honest so might just have a break i think we're just going to have dinner honestly probably not too much tonight work tomorrow it's also our markdown day at Lululemon, so I always get up and do the little Google spreadsheet for that. So need to kind of go to bed early since I do have to be up at 4.50 a.m. Did I set my alarm for that? I don't even remember. Um, to do those markdowns. Oh yeah, 4.50. Hopefully this is like one of the last weeks to do it um, just for the holiday season so I can kind of get a break a little bit because I stopped doing markdowns and stuff for like to save up for Black Friday and Boxing Day. Cause yeah, it would be nice to have a break from not waking up at 4 a.m. on Thursdays. But that's pretty much the plan. Work eight to two tomorrow. So maybe I'll bring you along for that. And I don't know, see, I feel like vlogs are kind of hard because I don't have a lot interesting going on in my life right now. Basically, I go to work at Lululemon, come home, edit videos, make videos. That is a life, go to eat dinner, go to bed repeat so i want to try and vlog more for you guys i want to try and get in the habit of vlogging more for you guys and hopefully just doing more things i can't really bring you along to work that much because obviously i can't show everything and i can't vlog while i'm actually working so but let me know if you guys find this enjoyable what do you guys want to see more on the vlogs and uh, leave me your recommendations down below but I don't know, I think I need to take a break from looking at screens for a minute. So I might just go like lie on the bed and just like decompress. <laughs> Hello again, you guys. Um, so sorry, I completely flopped on vlogging Thursday and Friday. Those days were honestly so, so busy for me and I just completely forgot to bring the camera along. So 
apologies for that i am trying to get better but i know on busy days that i am just so so tired and like that is kind of the last thing that i remember to do but you know it happens we're getting there we're on a journey but it is now saturday i am going to end the vlog here um and probably start a new one and hopefully remember to vlog this time so so thanks so much for watching be sure to give this video a like if you made it all the way to the end and hit that subscribe button for more vlogs and lululemon kind of content videos and i hope to see you in the next one. Bye!